guys, thanks for watching. Just want to give you a quick update what the weather's been like the past few days. But on Monday, it was up in the 90s. And then between Tuesday and Wednesday, we got about six inches of rain. And in the process, it's dropped down into the 50s. So right now, it's really, really wet and muddy and about 50 degrees. So I'm gonna have to get bundled up and we're gonna take many out and see if we can tree some squirrels. I hope you enjoy it. She just barked a couple times on this walnut tree. I don't see anything there, so she probably just struck on the track as it was coming down. Tree right there leads right up in that bigger one. So if it's up there, but it's in that bigger one because I don't see it in that walnut tree is empty. It's an empty walnut tree and leads up in the oak. I checked that tree over next to it. I couldn't find anything. But as you can tell, leaves are still green and they're still pretty thick, so it was probably there. I don't have the best eyesight. I actually can't even see out of my right eye. So for all I know, it could be up there and I just didn't see it, but I'll do my best to find it and try and reward her. That's one thing that's difficult about hunting this time of year is when they're in those walnuts and hickory trees and stuff like that. A lot of times they'll be all over those trees and then when you get there they jump in a tree next to it and the trees around it usually have a lot more leaves than those ones on and sometimes it's hard to find them because once they get in thick cover they don't like moving and giving their position away.
nest right in there. I'll look it over, but usually when there's a nest, once you start treeing, they go right in the nest, and I'm not gonna shoot into a nest. Manny, come here. Come on, girl. Come on. Gonna head back to the four wheeler now. My head's getting pretty hot, so I'm gonna head back to the house and get a different hat since it's starting to warm up. And I might take Minnie to a different woods. See if we can get her on one and then if we do and I have time, I'll probably go take another dog out and try and tree some more. Looked it over, couldn't find anything again. She really liked it. I'm sure there was one there because she doesn't like just tree in the tree. So we'll get out of here and hopefully we'll get one treed on a tree that you can see pretty good. But this time of year, it's pretty difficult. It's still September. Usually don't get to see them much till October and really don't see a lot of them till November just because of the leaf cover. Back to the four wheeler now. She's in this tree line right here hunting around, so I'll probably get on and just slowly drive back towards the house and she'll just probably run with me and might get on one, you never know. Made it to the edge of the tree line, so gonna head home. I'll probably get stubs and see if he can get treed and maybe I'll find one, that would be nice. You got stubs now, gonna go to another woods. It's a pretty big section. So I'll probably finish the day in there before I have to go to my football game. So hopefully he gets on one. So stay tuned and see what happens. Well, that was his quickest one yet. He wasn't even in the woods for two minutes and got treed. He's on a, it's a broken off tree. It's about 20 foot tall and you can see inside of it. Oh, one of them might have ran in there. Good boy. Meat dog. Found dinner. I knew something was up looking at that tree walking in. And I looked inside of it, there was nothing in it. And for a young pup that doesn't make that many trees to tree on something like that, just didn't seem right to me. And about that time I started thinking about that, 
he came off the tree right next to it on the ground was the top to what was busted off and started digging at that log it was so rotten about like that one he dug and dug and dug and there was a possum in it so it's a good time to explain what these dogs are bred for because there's a big difference between curs and hounds coon hounds are bred specifically for tree and coon where mountain curs were bred as family farm dogs that would keep anything away from your property and feed your family. So if there was a bear coming up to your yard, they'd run it off and tree it. If there was a possum in your yard, they'd run it off and tree it. Same thing with coon and squirrel, just about anything that climbed. They are bred to just keep around your house, keep pests away. And with a young dog, if he actually goes out and finds an animal like that, I'm not gonna discipline him. Where I know a lot of people with coon hounds they have a lot of competition hunts on their mind, so if their dog would tree a possum, that would be very bad for them. But for me, with this dog especially, I'm just glad to see progress. He's actually out looking for animals. He's grown a lot, so we'll keep working with him. And once season's in for possum, I don't care if he trees a possum, I'll shoot every one of them because there is a ton of them around here. He sounds pretty good up here. Two trees in about 10 minutes. That first one obviously was a possum. We'll see what this one is. If it's a possum, I'm gonna laugh, but this is great improvement for this dog. Because when I first got him, he was about five, six months old. Absolutely scared to death of everything. Scared of a shadow. I actually contemplated getting rid of him for a little while. See if it was just me, if he didn't like me. But now he's coming on. He's really treeing well. So, I got lucky and someone else missed out on a good dog. I'm gonna have to cross that. Got a big thorn in my boot too. But I might stay on this side of the bank, check the tree over first. Good boy, Stubbs. I can't believe the turnaround this dog's made. He has turned into a completely different dog than when I first got him. Good boy. Let's go, buddy. Go get him, buddy. This is unbelievable. I st I can't explain to you how big of a turnaround this dog has made. If you've seen any of my older videos, you saw how skittish he was. Didn't really hunt very well. He's made three trees in about 20 minutes now. Had a possum the first time, second time. Looked like a really good squirrel tree, but I couldn't see anything because the leaves are on. He's on another one here. I'm really excited for the leaves to be off with this dog because he is showing great signs of progress. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Tree connects into that bigger one, that bigger one too. Good boy, Stubbs. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Go get him, buddy. Hey, one thing I want to share with you guys: dogs are maybe one of their field staff members. So if you're going to buy one of the tracking systems or make a purchase of $200 or more, I can get you a discount. They're gonna give me a code you can use with your purchase. So if I get it by the time this video comes out, I'll put it down in the description below. But from now on, if you're gonna buy anything from Dogtra, make sure you use 
the code I gave you so you can help support the channel and get the best tracking system on the market. They're also coming out with a new collar for the Pathfinder that has lights on it. They're gonna be sending it to me to show you guys and they're also gonna be sending me a whole nother Pathfinder system with a holster for your phone. And I'll actually be able to use that for a giveaway. So make sure you guys stick around and check out my other social media pages and check out Dogtra Hunting Ops on Instagram. I'm going to be giving away a Dogtra Pathfinder tracking system. They release October 1st, so make sure you stick around. You can have a chance to win a free tracking system. And it's not just any tracking system. It's the best one i found to use, and I use it every single day. Well, he's covered quite a bit of ground. Hasn't made a tree again. It's about noon, it's pretty hot and windy. So nothing's probably really moving right now. So I'll probably head back to the four wheeler and finish up this video. Made it back to the four wheeler. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you stick around because like I said, we'll be doing some giveaways. We'll give away free tracking collars and tracking systems. We'll be playing more coon and squirrel hunts. Before long, archery season will be in, so I'll be shooting some deer for you guys. Thanks for watching.